Ooh, what's going on guys? I'm Jake the Offensive Gamer, and this is Doorways the Underworld. Uh, if you guys have seen uh, my other videos on Doorways, you'll know that, you know, I wanted to get some of the prerequisites out of the way in order to be able to play this. It was delayed by about a month. It was supposed to come out, I think, on August 20th, but something came up uh, during development, I suppose, or um, d distribution. And so they had to postpone it for about a month, and so now here we are, September 17th. It's finally out, and, uh, you know, I thought the first two chapters were pretty good. I, I didn't, um, think they were incredibly scary, but I thought that they were, you know, I thought it was interesting at the very least, and there it did have a couple scares in, in between, and I, uh, enjoyed the puzzles decently. Um, obviously this is the third chapter. I think I'm still gonna go with part one for this whole thing. Uh, as opposed to calling it like part six or whatever it just I don't know like it just would feel weird to me but anyway uh, enough dicking around let's get going my name is Thomas Foster the maniacs I pursue fall like dominoes one after the other I solve these cases by entering their minds actually letting them into mine I stalk them through dark hallways, forests of bloody stakes, inhuman torture chambers, museums of still and eternal suffering. Am I leaving this hell, or am I walking right into it? Let's get going. I think I said that twice now. God damn it. Stop it. Okay, Sayboy Studios? I don't know how to pronounce that, to be honest with you. And I don't like the sensitivity. It's not quite sensitive enough. Let's go ahead and adjust that. Alright, controls. It seems like the same sort of setup. Am I able to adjust the sensitivity? I don't think I am. Vision speed? Uh, that probably is what it is. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we're, yeah, I think this is good enough. It, I don't know, like, there's just something about it that just kind of, like, it drags itself as opposed to just moves you there. It just has, like, this sort of, um, I don't know, just slow transition of speed. I don't know, that's weird. Uh, Tobias, I don't know those people, so I'm gonna just keep going. I hope the brightness is not a problem in this one like it was in the last one. Uh, if you're, you guys are wondering, you didn't see my previous videos and you don't know anything about this game, the uh, main voice actor for this uh, title uh, is the guy who played Alexander Brendenberg in Amnesia, The Dark Descent. A lot of credits going on here. I kind of like this though. Doorways, the underworld. Okay. We're in it now. I don't know exactly what the continuity of this is. Obviously, we're in, like, a bunch of people's minds, but it's not really explaining as to how we're getting into their minds, unless I've missed something big here. Uh, most recently, we were dealing with those sculptures and all that shit. Okay, we got another one here. Katharina Stein, Frankfurt, Germany, 1964. Neurosurgeon. Reichenwald, Germany, is the origin of several urban legends as 50 people have gone missing over the last nine years. After the police closed the investigations without any explanations, Doorways took over the case. Two agents have been sent there over the last five years, but neither has come back. They have been registered as missing on service. Their identities remain classified. Our intelligence reports indicate that Dr. Stein is carrying out experiments with humans for a secret branch of the military forces of her country. All right. Ooh, that's... Oh, my God. Oh, my God, indeed. That is a bit creepy. Oh, I go into the mouth of the scary, creepy sculpture. Sounds about right. Makes sense. Don't eat me. Where am I? Uh, 
I don't know. Looks like we're in like some sort of underground mine, I would assume. But it looks like a bunch of lights and shit, which is new. This game tends to have, like whenever you go into an underground, really dark sort of place, in a horror game especially, there tends to not be very much light. And uh, for some reason, I'm not the one holding the light source, so this is a very different change of pace here. I'm used to wear, uh, holding some sort of torch or a lantern of some sort. None of that shit this time. Lights all around. So thank you developers for making me feel a little bit more secure with my surroundings. At least if something comes chasing after me and makes me shit my pants, I'll be able to see them do it. I need a key. Ah, my eyebrow itches. Okay. Ah. Much of my, my leg is itchy. Everything is itchy all of a sudden. I don't like it. Okay, so shift button still slows you down. I still don't understand why there's a key that would slow you down as opposed to speed you up. Especially the shift key, which is typically in my um, knowledge of video games with keyboards is uh, supposed to be the sprint button. And this one is the slow the fuck down button. Oh, I need to access it, I guess. All right. Happy now. God. Uh oh. I don't know why that happened. Hmm. Go down this creepy dark hallway, or this creepy dark hallway. Or go backwards. I don't know. This one does not look nearly as creepy as the other two. I gotta say, this one looks a little bit creepier and a little bit darker. I'm gonna go with this one. Oh. Ooh. What's this? Whoa. Yes? What is this place? I don't know. Why are you asking me? I am playing the game. You should know this. I'm getting scared. Okay. Okay, I don't like this. I officially do not like this game. Let's stop. Let's stop playing. Let's just stop playing. Let's go this way. There's a thing in here. Bo. Music. Behind the cell, there was an inhuman torso. It was contorted, lying on heaps of feces and putrefaction, under the sight of hundreds of flies buzzing around. The smell was nauseating. His neck was upright. His face bared a fixed, horrified expression. Its glassy eyes laid on me, toying with my sanity. It was indeed another victim of her experiments. He might have been an unfortunate villager, or even one of the doorway's agents. Whatever it had been, now it is nothing but a lump of flesh. I stopped to examine it for a second. Something wasn't right. A slight facial spasm confirmed to my suspicion. It was still alive. What? What? Is this happening now? No? What is still alive? Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. I'm slowing down. Jesus Christ. What is going on here? I don't know, dude. But, uh, I'm not liking it too much. Open this door. Open it. Open it now. What's in here?
I am so confused. Okay, well, the more I'm considering it, actually, I feel like I did, I did read the description of this game at some point, but maybe I missed something, or I'm just forgetting something, because I, he keeps on referring to this whole doorways situation, uh, and that might be like the investigation unit or something that is involved in this whole thing. I don't know. That's the way he's making it sound. Okay, there's um, some chains on this door. And they're broken now. How do I crouch? Oh, okay, right. Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this. Something's gonna happen. Something bad is going to happen. I am going to die. In this game and in real life, the game is going to animate itself, come out of my computer screen, and it's going to kill me in the face. I'll deal with that in a second. There, uh, what's that? Nothing? Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> like the. Every single time I turn in a certain direction, it almost looks like the frame rate's lagging, but it isn't, according to my counter. So I'm a little perturbed with that. I don't know what that's all about. Oh. Can I open this? I cannot open that. I'm not capable of doing that. <clears throat> okay, so... Is there some sort of puzzle I need to solve? I feel like there's a puzzle coming on. Yes, it does appear as so that is the case. Well, that did a thing. It did something. I don't know what, but it did something. Alright. Sorry if it's a little dark in those areas. It is for me as well. Try to brighten it up in post, if necessary. Oh, it opened this door. Okay, that's cool. I don't know if I want it to open this door. I don't know if I like that, to be honest. That might not be a good thing. What do I want to do? I'm going to go this way. What's in here? Who's in here? There's a ladder that leads nowhere. Okay. Huh. Uh... This is a walkway that leads nowhere, so... Two for two. Looks like this room is... For nothing. It's... Nope, nope, there's a key code. Do I type it in? Do, what do I do with this? Alright, so I need to find uh, something that has a bunch of numbers on it. And odds are, whatever those numbers are means it's the key code. So that little lock there. Can't open that. Huh. Oh, we got another thing. Oh, I need to read this. Okay. Experiment 9, Day 1. Finding the next subject was easier than expected. A middle-aged, poverty-stricken man caught my attention. He was asking for a job in the in the blah, in the slum. All I had to do was tempt. All I had to do was tempting him. Okay. All I had. To, sorry. All I had to do was tempting him with a job offer or inviting him to a feast. The good man was not going to refuse. Uh, experiment nine, day two. After interviewing him, I learned he is an interesting man, a humanist with Christian values. He has a basic education, but it should be enough. The serum has taken effect. He now lies in his newly assigned cell. The transformation will be successful this time. His patient number is 1305, so I can remember the start date of this fascinating project. Okay. Ooh. 1305? 1305. That's probably the key code. Now that I think about it. Holy shit! Okay. 
Fair enough. That guy looked weird. Has anybody ever seen that movie 13 Ghosts? Came out in like, uh, 2001, something like that. Had Matthew Lillard, I think is his last name. Reminded me of one of the ghosts from that movie. 1305. So. Do I... Yes, that's... How do I... How do I select? Okay, there we go. Thank you. Experiment 9, Day 11. I've completed the amputation of his arms and legs. The use of painkillers was necessary this time. Pain caused agitation had destroyed patients 712 and 718's nervous system before, and I'm not willing to make that mistake again. The right legs... Okay, experiment 9, day 21. The right leg stitches show minor symptoms of infection. The subject's continuous screaming and questions won't let me focus. I would rather not... I would rather not to inject any more tran uh, tranquilizers because his senses need to be on full alert. The most practical solution will be removing his tongue. Fuck me. That is messed up, man. Alright, is that door open now, or do I need to go back and uh, turn that other key? Yeah, I need to go back and turn the other key. There was another... Um, there was the podium in the middle that didn't have a key inside it yet. But I don't have a key of any sort, so I wouldn't be able to solve that problem yet, at least. Uh, I can't turn that key, actually. Yeah, I don't have a key for that. Well, we must find it. Oh, we must. And we will. I will. You aren't doing shit. You're just sitting along for the ride, just being useless, just watching. Thanks for the help, asshole. I hate you. Oh, there is a key there. Fuck my life. <laughs> how did I not see that before? Okay. Nope, oh, th because there was a note on it. That's how I did not see it before. Stupid. Alright. Go back to the podium, put the key in, unlock the door. And go to the place where the scary ghost was only minutes prior. I don't like this. I don't like where this is going. Oh shit. This is not ending. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. Oh, God. Look for a safe spot. Safe spot? Safe spot? What? Uh, what does that say? What did that say? I, fuck, I'm, I'm dead again. I'm dead again. Seriously? Stay away from him. You cannot confront him. Hidden. Or, no, not hidden. Hide. Alright, well... He's, like, just out there, isn't he? Oh, no, he's right there. Shit. I think he saw me. Fuck, I think he saw me. What do I do now, man? This is kind of bullshit. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and all that, and I will see you guys next time. I move so slow.
Yeah, we get it. We get it. You're a loud fucking motor. We get it. Generator, whatever. I reiterate, fuck you. Ooh, this looks new. Is that blood? That looks like blood. The cellar is freedom. 